हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक न्यू बॉडी और कर्नल बॉडी इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी इंप्लीमेंटेड द न्यू बॉडी और कर्नल बॉडी वी गेव द इंप्लीमेंटेशन नेम एनहांसमेंट इंप्लीमेंटेशन नेम वी गेव बॉडी इंप्लीमेंटेशन नेम वी पास द क्लास नेम we choose the respective body definition we double click on the class we activated the class and we activated the enhancement implementation we did all these steps and we put so much stress that enhancement implementation is a container for the body implementation now we left with one part we need to write the logic we need to write the logic to exclude those two buttons to hide those two buttons additional data and organization level because that is our requirement now how to achieve that particular requirement now we will go for understanding suppose i am going to mm01 we all know every button every button has a function code every button has a function code it means this additional data has a function code organization level has a function code check screen data has a function code this lock button has a function code so every button has a function code and that function code will help us to achieve our requirement now if i will show you the way i will show you the method where i will write the code where we will write the code if i will go to sc19 this is our implementation which we created enhancement implementation is this is our class in this class in this particular method we need to write the code if i will show you the parameters of this method we have a internal table we have a internal table this internal table we need to fill and it is clearly saying in this internal table you can pass the functions whatever the functions you want to activate or deactivate so we will simply pass the function code of these two buttons which we want to deactivate okay now the question comes how you will check the function code of these two buttons it is very very easy you can go to mm01 i am just going to mm01 this is menu bar function keys title bar and this application toolbar all are the part of gui status so i'll go to system status i will go to gui status this is the gui status i will go to application toolbar this is your additional data if i will double click what is the function code of additional data zu01 i will note down now what is the function code of your organization level if i will double click nsch so this is the function code so this is one way to identify the function code but many time people are comfortable with the debugging in the debugging mode they will check what is the function code of the buttons so i'll put a breakpoint and show you i'll put a breakpoint now i will go to mm01 i am putting a breakpoint into same to same method i'll just do f8 now i am click passing the description i am giving unit of measurement i am clicking on to this button if i am clicking on to this button we all know the system variable psi u com which is a system variable for user command it capture the function code of the button what is the function code of the button zu01 yes zu01 which we noted down suppose if i am going to other button if i will go to next button i am clicking on to organization level 
but is the value of psi u comp and sch is the same to same yes now we will simply simply deactivate these two function codes so how we will write the code now so it's your wish how you want to check the function codes you want to directly see the gui status or you can check through debugging code now we will write the code i will go to the respective class where we want to write the code because class is all about logic writing so we are going to our enhancement implementation i am clicking on to implementing class now in this particular method we will write the code i'll go to change mode now now we need to fill this internal table we need to fill this internal table means in this internal table we will pass the function codes which we want to deactivate so firstly i will declare work area then we will append it to this internal table i am saying suppose lwa underscore exclude i will declare the work area type i will double click it is of this type this is your structure i'll copy this structure name because work area is always type structure now i will write lwa underscore exclude hyphen if i will double click on the structure what is the column name f u n c and you can see it is of four length is our all function codes are of four length yes so i'll simply give f u n c i'll again copy f u n c is equal to what is the first function code which we want to exclude z u 01 now we will append work area to internal table what is our internal table ex tab underscore insert same way we will just append the second function code what is the second function code we have nsch so we are excluding these two buttons and we are exclude by how we are excluding by passing the function code now i will put a break point and i will show you the output in the debugging mode now we will go to mm01 now industry sector is there material type is there for the best understanding i will show you in the debugging mode i am just i just on the debugging you all know you put the break point on which statement call body get body why i am putting the break point so that you can get a clear cut understanding how how everything is working at this point of time i will not stop now i will choose basic data one i'll go for okay now this method we have not implemented we have implemented the method pf status something so i'll do f it i will do f it i will do f it f it now this is the method which we implemented in this method we have written the code now see get a clear understanding as of now this object has not created yet is this statement will create the object yes this statement will create the object you can say object created if object created can we call this particular instance method yes and we have written a logic into that if i will go to f8 and show you is this the logic we have written in the method yes you can see we are filling our internal table in this internal table do we have both the function codes yes we have both the function codes and we are excluding these two function codes i will go for execute 
I'll just delete now so that you can get is our both functions, both functions or both buttons are visible now? No, there's no button available now for additional data. There's no button available for the organization level. So we achieve a particular requirement in the SAP program itself. Very, very important topics from the project perspective. And in this kernel body or new body, we learned so many new things. Now we will go for same to same approach. We should never hamper the system after practicing. We should, we should delete all those things, whatever you created. Now I will go to SC19 transaction code because with the help of SC19, you created all these things. I'll just wait. I think system is hanged. We'll go to SC19. Now, this is the enhancement implementation which we created. Now, many times people, what they will do, they will not delete. They will simply deactivate the implementations. See, in this enhancement implementation, we have this body implementation. We can have multiple body implementations also because this is the container. So they will simply, simply deactivate. If you will deactivate, so we are deactivating a particular body implementation. So you can see our logic will not trigger. So now my body implementation is deactivated. It means whatever the logic we have written, it will not trigger. If I will show you MM01, if I am choosing basic data one, you can see buttons are there. See our body implementation is there. Our class is there, but still it is not working because we have deactivated the things. But the best way is you should delete whatever you created because these all are related to SAP object. So after practice, please, please delete all those things. So we will delete the class first, which we created. I'll go to SC24. I will delete the class first. Now I will delete this enhancement implementation. Body implementation is inside the enhancement implementation. So it will automatically delete. So this enhancement implementation also I will delete. So always make a practice that after learning these topics, you should undo all the things, whatever you did. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.